Now let us look into the geometric properties of the simple circular curve. So basically, as you know, we have the radius, the R. As I mentioned earlier, the curve can be formed by connecting two tangents. So this is the tangent, T. Okay, the T. Two tangent, one tangent, second tangent. So the starting of the curve, we call it as point of curve. Then the intersection point of two tangent, we call it as point of intersection. And the end of the curve, we call it as point of tangent. So if you look into this uh, figure, we have angle here, internal angle that govern the curve which is the symbol is theta and this angle equal to the external angle this angle so external angle equal to the internal angle while the half of the angle it is delta over 2 and this angle equal to this angle when you connect a straight line from point of circular curve to the point of tangent, so this angle that connecting the horizontal line of PC to PT and tangent line, that is delta over 2. Okay, from this horizontal line till the peak of the curve, we call it as M. So what is the M? M is the middle ordinate. While this E from the top of the point central curve till the end or the point of point of intersection, this is we call as external distance. Okay, bear in mind this is not uh, vertical. This is flat on the flat path. So this is horizontal alignment. Okay, right. So, let us look into further detail of the geometric property. As I mentioned earlier, PC is a point of curve. PI is point of tangent intersection. PT is point of tangent, where the ending point of the horizontal curve. T is the tangent length, which is equal to R. R is the radius tangent delta over 2. This is half of the central angle or half of the external angle. Well, the middle ordinate, which is M, from the horizontal line to the peak point of the horizontal curve, this can be determined by using this formula. R, which is the radius, multiplied by 1 minus cos delta over 2. That is why the internal angle, the external angle value is very important. Because in order to get the tangent length and also middle ordinate, length, we need to know the delta over 2. It is also used for stopping side distance and sometimes middle ordinate also known as lateral clearance. Okay, The last but not least is external angle E which can be determined by using this formula which is R is the radius again multiplied by 1 over cos delta over 2. Okay, Delta over 2 is the half of the uh, internal or external angle minus 1. 